All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble the Seagate. This is the Backup Plus Ultra Slim Metal Rescue Edition. All right, so I'm not 100% sure, but I have a feeling this drive isn't going to be repairable. Um, but we're going to see if inside has a standard SATA drive. If it does, uh, in some cases, the little SATA to USB adapter is bad. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Hopefully we can get the data off. Otherwise, they're going to have to send it to a data recovery. So most likely we're going to pry underneath this. Um, you can see this cover is a little bit taller. Okay, so let's see if we can get under there. I'm using this thin metal pry tool. And we're just going to try and get under there and pop it out. Okay, it's going to be somewhat of a pain most likely, but let's see. Okay, I hope we can pop this apart. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this side and not the other one, but let's see. As you can see, it's very difficult to get this apart. All right, I got, oops, sorry. Let me actually zoom out a bit here for you guys. Okay, I got other junk here that I'm working on, so to move it aside, let me see here. There you go. Okay, so basically we're just getting in this gap here, okay? And then we're trying to separate the pieces. So let's try and get in there. You can hear there's actually adhesive separating. So we'll see if it even can go back together. Um, but usually it's gonna be kind of bent up a bit, right? I can see where these clips kind of are holding in. Okay, we got. you can see we created a gap there now. Um, but it's still holding really strong. So let's see if we can get under this side. Okay. There we go. All right, so basically get underneath the lip and then we're just prying it up and away. Okay, so we are getting that out. Let's go around to the back now. Same thing. And then we'll kind of pry it up and away. Just keep working our way down all the way over. Okay, it's coming out nicely. Actually, there might be an adapter here, so let's see if we're in luck. Okay, so we get this side. Oh, come on. You do need like a very thin tool for this, um, and you want to be careful. You want to use a tool that's very flexible like this, because if you use a uh, tool that's not, there's a very good chance it's like brittle and it's going to snap and break off. Don't use like a knife or a razor blade. Um, those things aren't usually designed to be flexible like this. And then you're gonna end up snapping it and then it's gonna end up getting you hurt. All right, there we go. Just gotta get, find our way in. Also, if you have a similar tool, but it's too thick, um, you might have to kind of use something to file it down or like sandpaper just to like thin it out, all right? So you can see now we got the entire cover off. It's just like this. And as you can see, there's all this double stick tape all around the edges, okay? So if we're gonna be putting this back, you wanna take note of where the light is, okay? The little stripe on this cover lines up with that light right there. Okay, so we'll take that out. And it does look like there's a SATA drive in here. So we'll flip this over and we'll kind of like wiggle this. Usually it's gonna be difficult. It might help actually to use this tool as well. Just get it in the back between the foam and the hard drive. Okay, is there a foam there or it's just plastic? I think there's just plastic, All right? Once you get in there, let's see if we can pry it up. Actually, it's holding really strong. Jeez, did they tape down both sides? That's annoying. It looks like it might be taped in there. Oh, there we go. So going from the side, you can see it popped up slightly. You do want to be careful because you don't want to damage the hard drive trying to get it out. I'm going to go from this side as well. Pop that up. Okay. Once you get the sides uh, towards the back up, you want to actually slide this out just like this because this connector is here. Okay. So a lot of times what happens is the SATA adapter is what's bad. So we're going to have to actually peel this uh, foil stuff off. Okay. So we'll just peel this up. Most likely it's going to get like um, stretched and deformed so you might not be able to put it back. Uh, it's okay. If you're putting in another enclosure, you actually don't need um, all this foil and stuff. Oh, the foil keeps tearing. Okay, so we'll just continue peeling this up slowly. Just like this. Okay, 
Now that we got that peeled out, we can go ahead and fold this over. Um, and then we got to peel this side as well. You can't even just like lift this off because it's um, kind of slotted over that USB port thing. So we're going to carefully peel this as well. All the little sharp edges in this um, will cause it to easily tear. This little cutout here is also going to cause it to tear. So you actually want to go very slow. Um, not like you're going to send this in for a warranty or anything. Um, but if for some reason you tried to and you tore this stuff, they're going to say something about it. They're probably just going to void your warranty. Um, anyways, so we're going to go here. You can see how that little curved part meets at a point. So we're going to kind of work both sides until we get to that point and then go ahead and peel. And there we go. So once we got the whole thing peeled up, we can kind of slot it through the other way. Okay. Huh. Why is it stuck on it? There we go. Oh, they also had this little tab that was sticking to it. So there we go. We'll set that aside. And now here you have the SATA connector. So to get this off, it's really hard to kind of just pull here usually. Um, but if you can, you can do that. Okay. Um, but once you get like a gap here, I just use my fingernail in there. Um, obviously, you can use like any like plastic pry tool. And I get in there and I kind of just use that my fingernail to kind of like pry it out just like this. Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty standard two and a half inch SATA SSD, but it is extra thin. This is two terabytes. I'm gonna get a SATA to USB adapter and I'll use that. It's basically this kind of thing, but it has a USB cable as part of the whole thing and it doesn't use this box. So I'm gonna test the drive and see if it works. I'll see you guys in a bit.